we may want to find in this graph is the topological ordering of the graph. So how do we go about finding that? Well, it turns out the topological ordering can be found by just doing a pre-order traversal of this graph. Now, what does that mean? Well, in a previous video, we calculated the pre- and post-order numbers. So let me write pre, post, okay? So what all we need to do is walk through these nodes in their pre-order numberings, in the order of their pre-order numbers, in order to find the topological order of the graph. So let's write, you know, TO for topological order. Okay, so we'll start with the first node here, A. Okay, so what are we going to visit next? C. Okay, well, that makes logical sense if you look here. C is the next logical node you would go to from A. Okay, what's next? Well, D. Okay, what do we go to next? Well, visually inspecting the graph, I would expect us to go to F. And F is 4, so that is, in fact, what's happening. Sorry. Uh, let's undo that. F. Okay, what do we go to next? Well, in our original DFS graph, or run of DFS, what we were doing is prioritizing the node we went to next by its alphabetical ordering. So the next node I would expect us to go to from F is G. And if we take a look here, G is 5, so G was in fact the next node. What was next? Well, we went back to F and then went to H. And H is 7, so it's the next highest order node, so this is correct. Well, what do we go to next? Well, taking a look here, it looks like 11 is the next highest one. And this makes some sense, because we backtrack to F, backtrack to D, backtrack to C. C had another unvisited child node, which was E, so that's where we went. So let's write down E. Where did we go next after that? Well, the next highest one is B, because we went back to the parent node, realized there were no other nodes that we could visit from A, found another unvisited node, which was B, and then visited B. So B is the last node in our topological ordering.